Hey, what's going on, you guys? This is Madam, and I'm coming back to you once again. This time, we're going to go over to RadioOnline.com, and I will list the article right in all of the details in the description, as I always do. This is in a celebrity's column, and it says, My life has been greatly affected. Wendy Williams' ex-husband, Kevin Hunter, cannot pay bills at the former TV host Stop Paying Alimony. Wendy Williams' ex-husband, Kevin Hunter Sr., claimed that he cannot pay his bills and is facing more disclosure after Wendy stopped paying him alimony last year, Radar Online has learned. The surprising development comes one day after it was revealed that Kevin, age 50, filed a motion for his alimony payments to resume after Wendy Williams was reportedly forced to cut him off in October of 2021. According to the court documents, Kevin depends on the court ordered spousal support for went from Wendy for homeowner association payments, car insurance, and to pay off his outstanding credit card bills. I have fallen behind on most of my bills, Wendy Williams' ex-husband claimed in his request. I currently live in a community that requires payments to the homeowner association and I'm behind on that bill. If the homeowners association fees are not paid, foreclosure will soon follow. He continued, my car insurance hasn't been paid as a result of of not receiving monthly severance payments. I've been behind on my credit card payments because I have no money since the severance payments were suspended. My life has been greatly affected since the plaintiff stopped making payments under our settlement agreement. Kevin also claimed he cannot afford health insurance without the monthly alimony payments uh, promised to him as part of his and Wendy's 2019 divorce settlement particularly now that he is in need of hip surgery. The fact that I am unable to sustain my life and pay my bills in order is extremely uh, emergent to me. Kevin said, I cannot pay my bills and sustain my day-to-day living. As RadioOnline.com previously reported, the former host of the Wendy Williams show, Stop paying her ex-husband's alimony in October 2021 after he after she was suspended from receiving compensation. On October 15, 2021, plaintiff was informed by Talk WW that her contract was being suspended and that no of uh, that no compensation shall occur or be payable to plaintiff for the duration of the plaintiff's disability and incapacity. Wendy's lawyer wrote in a response to Kevin's newly filed motion. If for any reason Wendy's contract with Talk WW is not renewed in slash or is otherwise suspended, canceled or terminated, and Wendy does not have any other television shows being aired and paying her an equivalent salary, Kevin understands and agrees that all severance payments shall be subject to either termination or modification. Wendy's lawyers added, citing the former couple's divorce settlement agreement. Kevin's latest file comes after the TV producer and talent manager filed a $10 million wrongful termination lawsuit against Wendy Williams' former producers in March in connection to his 2019 termination from the program. According to the lawsuit, Kevin argued he was wrongfully terminated as the Wendy Williams show executive producer as a result of his and Wendy's divorce at the time. The program's producers fired back at Kevin and filed a motion to dismiss the $10 million lawsuit, particularly because Kevin's merge to Wendy was not a protected characteristic under the law and because he allegedly failed to provide any evidence that he was terminated directly because Wendy filed for divorce. 
And yeah, that is what's going on now. I knew it was something, uh, allegedly. Allegedly, I knew it was something when um, Wendy was going through, like, the height of, uh, you know, dealing with her banking situation and uh, power of attorney and things like that. And she was literally cut off from her money and you know, when he, you know, the nice guy stepped in, you know, hey, how you doing, blah, 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 da, 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 bop, 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 whatever, only for him to now be like, oh, well, I need you to start paying me alimony, I can't sustain my way of living, well, what happens when you can't sustain your way of living, um, given her situation, um, health situation, crisis, whatever you want to call it, has been very public in the news and media. Um, you know, uh, you know, how can she pay you if she not getting her own money? Um, if it was still, if it was still, you know, being held uh, and things like that. So I don't really understand what I mean. You do what other regular people do. Uh, you downsize, okay, um, you know, you downsize, you go get some affordable insurance, um, you know, things like that, and, you know, hope for the best, just like everybody else, um, you know, at the very least, I hope that it's modified, um, you know, uh, per the agreement, which was stated in there, Uh, allegedly, because I don't have first-hand knowledge of that, um, you know, you can't, you can't bleed a turnip, you know what I'm saying, if, if if the turnip is not, you know, producing, you know what I mean, so, hey, hey, look, my apologies for the analogies, it was just something off the top of my head, please keep in mind everything that I say is alleged, but, uh, yeah, bro, downsize, uh, downsize, uh, get old girl, uh, I forgot her name, yeah, get old girl, you know, start, you know, picking up with the, you know, the bills or whatever the case is, whatever the situation is, and, you know, y'all come together and, you know, make that work, just like, you know, normal people do, uh, on a daily basis, you know, um, I can understand being in the, you know, the media show business thing for a long time, people do become accustomed to certain ways of living, however, if there is public knowledge of an issue that is going on with a person that's supposed to pay alimony and, um, at a point didn't have access to their own money, um, how do you expect them to make good on any alimony payments at the least it should be reduced um you know just hey downsize 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 uh you know maybe you might need to leave the homeowner association okay um i don't know but it's the awesome options But uh, I will keep you updated on this story as I always do with any other story on my channel. I want to take this time to say thank you so much for the uh, support that you have been showing me on my videos. I truly do appreciate it. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Meet me down in the comment section so we can chop it up and talk about this story and any other story that I do on my channel. And with that, I will catch you guys in the next video.